Uh, we, can we do something about this uh, disease? First of all, we have to think that glucose and carbohydrates are the first, uh, the main, almost the only source of energy for the brain. And this is uh, an important uh, um, key point. And so when uh, we talk about uh, low-carb uh, diet, avoiding the, uh, um, the use of carbohydrates and avoiding the use of food as pasta, we don't think to this main point that we need glucose uh, to have uh, a working brain. And this uh, is critical in two moments. One is development, so for kids, and one is aging, when the brain is uh, uh, losing some of the specific characteristics. So we, if we don't give uh, glucose and carbo to foods, we can affect the future health of people. And uh, and this is clearly emerging when we see what are the outcomes, long-term outcomes of low-carb diet in terms of increasing mortality, increasing cardiovascular mortality. And we have uh, emerging data also on this set of disease. So is, this is the first point. And the second point is coming up from the global burden of disease study that is the most founded the study of the history of biomedicine. It's founded by, by the World Bank and by the Bill and Melissa Gates Foundation. And the goal of the study is monitoring the health of all the world at the same time for all diseases and uh, uh, with the same instruments of measurement. And one key message is that in the future, disability is not coming up from uh, mainly from cancer and cardiovascular or cerebrovascular disease, but is going to come up from Alzheimer because a patient of, of, with Alzheimer has, uh, uh, in terms of years of disability, 30% more than years of disability of a person after a myocardial infarction, and 70% of more of disability as a, a, a person with cancer. So this is a new challenge, both for numbers and from a medical perspective. There are a lot of evidences right now coming out, still coming out, but in the last five years published on major neurological journals, that having a, a diet, a Mediterranean diet, can help us to prevent, if we are normal, Alzheimer's disease. And uh, the reduction of risk is not small. It's about 30% of reduction of risk. And these uh, are studies that have been ma made in several populations across the world, mainly in the US and uh, in Europe. So there are clear uh, evidences that uh, having a diet uh, with uh, uh, several characteristics as the Mediterranean diet can help us not only to prevent uh, um, vascular disease and metabolic disease, but also Alzheimer's disease, that is uh, the new challenge both for uh, biomedicine and for uh, public health. And the uh, Mediterranean diet as one of the main component in pasta. And, uh, and I think, uh, and I close with that, and this is because, I think, beyond the uh, action on prevention of vascular factors that are important also for Alzheimer's disease, in the Mediterranean diet, through pasta, there is that key component, that is carbohydrates, that we need to have a functioning brain.